Yo, y'all, this was Happy Seven, and today I'm going to keep playing Earthbound. Um, last time we bitched over the combat system and uh, saw a bunch of people run into the circus tent. How's it going? Oh, you can do whatever you want. Just save my life. What? What are you talking about? The guy at the pizza joint told me about the new product called Zombie Paper. Indeed. Uh, so do I use it here? It said put it on the floor outside the tent. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Are you guys just gonna have the same dialogue? Just imagine when we wake up in the morning. Ooh, it'll be really gross. Hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Stupid zombies, come on over. Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. I have a nice bone for you. Hey, stupid zombies, come out wherever you are. The suspense is killing me. Do I maybe have to uh, put down the fly honey as bait or something? No? Do I have the fly paper still? No. Or, you know, zombie paper. Am I supposed to just, like, linger around in here for a while? Zombie paper is a stupid product name. Okay. Um... Well, do I, whoops, do I maybe put it outside then? Uh, let's try here one more time. No. Okay, well, I... I guess that that's it then. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll try going back over to the other place where the zombies were. Did those ghosts just clip through the fence? I mean, they are ghosts, so I guess it's, you know, acceptable. No, they're still there. I have fly honey. No, I I mean So okay. We've got the fly paper uh, you know, zombie paper down. We've got the fly honey. <clears throat> no, no. Okay. Anyways, um How strange. All those people are staying in there. I interacted with everything in here that I could, I think. Let's see. Yeah, <clears throat> that seems to be it. I don't, <clears throat> I don't seem to be able to pick it back up. So, you know what I really wish this game had? was like a, a log, like a, like a, uh, wh what do you call it, like a dialogue log, <laughs> um, cause sometimes I like forget what they say and it's like really important to what I need to be doing, uh, but I also feel like I know what I'm doing, but it's not working. 
So, I mean, obviously, I don't. <laughs> um, this is the same thing. So, then do I need to, like, also find peanut butter or something? Oh, ew. Yeah, this is the first zombie that we've actually fought. Oh, that's nice poison. She took 18 damage from the poison? Oh, good, she took 19. Just enough to kill her. Ah, but she had the luck to survive. Not that she'll stay alive. Nope, oh, there she goes. I just feel like the combat has gotten extremely unbalanced. Like... Oh my god! Do, it was just last episode that we had a thousand dollars, and because of how often people are dying... But I mean, how, how, how was I supposed to avoid that? That's not something I can just cure, right? I mean... I guess I could have used healing, the healing Psy. But, well, he doesn't even have any Psy points, does he? No, Izaki doesn't have any Psy points, so no. There was literally no way to survive that situation. Unless RNG called that Carla wasn't going to get poisoned with 19 damage a second poison. I mean, I feel like, see, like, you know, like, with their HP there... They're all at max HP right now, except for maybe Izaki, who might be a little under. But, like, that's a massive difference. And so I feel like right now the damage is balanced towards Izaki. But for Carla and Kumvu, who are nowhere near the level that Izaki is, it makes it so that they, the damage that they take is tremendously high. And it just makes it so that it's, it's not even... Well, just that they can get killed so easily, and then it's just a massive drain on money. That strange tent, it was a monster. I'm glad I didn't go inside. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, I'm missing something. I mean, I must be. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this jam. Oh, hey, maybe it wants me to go back into the... Um, I forgot which... Oh, hello. Be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Dude, this is a fucking bop. <laughs> Weird placement for those beds. A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. Boy, had a red cap. Hey, it was you. Yeah, it was. And you have a mysteriously small amount of rooms this time around. Holy shit, he deposited 588. Okay, well, maybe we won't run out of money. Uh, record might as well. It's been a while since I saved. Welcome to the Three Sunset Hotel. One night stay will cost $180. Well, at least that's realistic. I wonder, do I have to buy that rust remover? Or, I mean, rust... Pro I don't remember what the fuck it was. They've got a whole room dedicated to this. Alright, so let's see. Um... Oops. This song is so good. Um, Alright, let's see. Welcome to the circus. Yeah, welcome to the circus of death. Okay, let's see. Um, oh yeah, he was up by, by, uh, back behind the drugstore. 
I think. Yeah. How's it going, my man? I need the Rust Promoter. It's gonna lug this around. It's gonna be Kumbu. Excellent. Glad we could work something out. Will there be anything else? No. Alright, let's take a look. Rust Promoter. Quickly rusts metallic enemies when used during battle. The enemy will take about 200 points of damage, gone after one use. I see. Okay, well, good to have, I suppose. Um, well, then we're looking for... I guess we might as well start trying these houses and see if we can find anything inside them. Hey, you don't look so happy. Better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Oh, yes, right. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm watching a zombie movie. Um, okay. Well. Let's see, where is it? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, here it is. Nothing happened. Okay, well, I was thinking that maybe we could get into the houses that we weren't allowed in. Uh, yeah, no, that's not going to do anything. Well, then I really am confused on what we're supposed to do. I assume that once we put down the zombie paper, we would just be good to go, but evidently not. Ooh, I will take that. Hello. That's right, there's a rumor about a monster called Belch screwing up the town. Belch, that's a gross twisted name even for a monster. And I noticed that it's nice and sunny out of your window. Is that a painting or something? How ironic would it be to have a painting of a window on your wall? I should do that. Yeah, this one too. I'm going back in here and coming out until there's no monsters. Alright, there we go. Um, okay, well... Gosh. Oh, wasn't there like a hint hut or something like that up here? <laughs> Look at this. The zombies have been around so long that they put in zombie crossing signs watch out for zombies we're too incompetent to take them out was it no oh, god damn it i didn't even see them they blend in because they just look like really uh, regular people right okay then um i guess you should just pray and let's find out these guys weaknesses Papa. Handsome Tom fell asleep. They both fell asleep. Everybody. Oh, shit. Did I just soft lock myself? No, okay, we're waking up. Okay, good. Uh, let's try praying again. Let's spy on the handsome Tom because we didn't actually get that. Cannot stop crying. Fell full asleep. Okay, praying doesn't seem to work. Because it deals damage uh, vulnerable to fire, flash, and brain shock. Okay. Um, just bash the trick or treat could. You might as well use fire on the that lad. And you should spy on the trick or treat kid if he doesn't die. Wait, what? What the hell killed Kumbu? I don't understand. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is ridiculous. Ah, now Izaki is asleep. Hmm, okay, well, I think that this is. We're gonna have to take the L here. Well, maybe. Although we haven't dealt a point of damage to the handsome Tom. Oh, well, that works. <clears throat> just, 
barely survived, and that's a thousand and ninety XP that won't be given to the two underleveled chaps. Fuck off. Holy shit. Does this town not have any police force? <clears throat> All right. I'm quite confused still. Maybe if I go into the pizza shop, I can get more or something like that. Well, if I have the money after this, good lord. I will, I think. I, I think I've got enough. Oh my god, just... Okay. Like, imagine in, like, Pokemon, for example, if you had to pay, like, a fifth of the amount of money that you had at any given time to get back every single Pokemon that had fainted. And you can hold six Pokemon, so it wouldn't even... <laughs> so what the hell? Alright, what's good? Munch, munch, gulp. Uh, no, I didn't take a piece of pizza. I would never think about doing that. It was delicious, though. Enjoy! As you may know, you need my... Wait, you need to order by phone, okay? Well, that was a weird... That was a weird, uh... Dialogue. Well, then I am... Stuck, and we were looking for the hunt, hunt, hut, hit hut. Okay. I don't remember where that was, though. I think it was like very far northwest. I mean, northeast. I overheard the zombies whisper. Master Belch will give us our lives back. Master Belch is the zombie leader. He must be really pukey. Ew. Maybe he throws up. Like, throws up zombies like the wretched mother from Diablo 3. Oh shit, I'd love that right now. Fantastic. The magical butterfly made Izaki and his friends relax. Cool. Is this it? Ah, hello. Now, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just $60. You'd take a hint, wouldn't you? Zombie paper only works well in a tent. After you set the paper in your tent, go to the hell to hotel and put your dogs up. Wait, didn't you read the zombie paper instructions? That's it for today. Are you fucking kidding me? Put the dogs up. What? Okay, well, at least I know where to go. I'm really glad that Hint Hut exists. Uh, where is the hotel from where? Uh, okay. Put the dogs up? Did I read that wrong? It's possible, I suppose. Oh my god. I always forget about this music somehow, and I'm always overjoyed to hear it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess I didn't really read the instructions. But I did read about the zombie paper, didn't I? No, in fact, I don't think I did, because I already knew what it did from the other people's descriptions of it. <sighs> Put the dogs up. What does that mean? Is that like a saying or something that I'm not really getting? Well, I... Uh... Let's try sleeping here and seeing if that does anything. Ah, put the dogs up. Okay, that must mean go to sleep or, you know, take a load off or something. All right, the zombies are out and about. Oh, they're gone. Fuck yes, finally. Ooh. Uh. Another banger. S sir? You're working hard even though you're young. The guest newspapers that were delivered at the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what is in it. Boogie Tent Falls, young human to blame. Well, 
guess I'm to blame. What's good? Alright, same thing. Very peaceful music this time, though. Not as much a banger, though, as the, uh... uh gosh, I guess it was two episodes ago now, or three. Good morning, did you sleep well? I did, thank you. Oh, I was, I was hoping it would be nice and sunny out. Well, I guess I'll go to the circus tent. Uh, what's a good word? Yuck, we caught a lot of zombies. Ugh, it's really gross. I guess you were right then. You might not understand my saying this, but poor zombies. I honestly do not. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? We did it. Did you look in the tent? Yaha, we taught those stupid zombies a lesson. It's all thanks to me. Holy shit. Just like wriggling around on the floor. The zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else. I just want to save my own skin. Well, at least you're honest, I, I guess. Zombie paper really works, so I hope somebody, someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say. <laughs> Not really. It sounds a little... You're the enemy of all zombies, you monster. You humans are such cowards. There's no response. I don't care if I pass away. Ha, <laughs> I'm dead already. Could you help me? Maybe not. Gasp, gasp. There's no response. I'll blame you for the rest of my quote-unquote life. <laughs> if I try to get away, my body will just fall apart. It's because I'm a zombie. No response. I'll blame you after my quote-unquote death. Well. Sweet. That's a... Wow. I think... I notice the frame rate drops around here, and I think it's just because of how many NPCs are around. I mean, it is an emulation. I'm not actually running the game with 16 gigabytes of memory, but... Actually, that might not be a good idea. I wonder if it would accidentally start running super fast if I did that. Well, I think I'm going to save the game, and then um, we'll head over to the... Um, head over to the ladder, and next episode, we'll finally figure out what's down there. And I'm hoping it leads into that cave that um, had the shiny that Kumbu found but wasn't able to use because only uh, uh, Izaki can do it. Anyways, so... I gotta make sure we're safe and that I don't get into a battle or something before I start doing my outro. Okay, well then, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to join the Coral's Rebellion. If you have any suggestions for games for me to play, ways to make my commentating more enjoyable, don't hesitate to leave a comment. That's about it. See ya!